Megan and ah. Uh... Yeah, so now we need some polyphony. Um, polyphony is kind of a you know broad topic in Max. Uh, people build like full on synthesizers, and where polyphony is a really important thing. But I wanted to show some pretty basic polyphony here. What is polyphony? Oh, polyphony is uh, playing more than one note at a time. So in the previous demo, we showed how you could make these little ah sampler things. So um, by the end, though, we were smoothing them, or we were uh, stretching the time. We turned on the time stretching for the keys. So, um, but you could then you could tell that the sounds were overlapping each other and cutting each other off. So we wanted to show a simple, simple way to do polyphony. So I have that make an ah with time stretching four times down here. So we're going to generate a four part polyphonic make an ah sampler. So um, we're just going to use the poly object. There's also a poly tilde object which does uh, does a little differently, a little bit more sophisticated, but we'll do the simple way first. So poly 4 gives me four out, uh, will remember the last four notes I've pressed and I'll put them in sequence sort of um, that we can then route into these four separate objects. So let me show how it works. So there I just played this one. The next note's going to play round robin style. The, the, the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, first one. It's just going to rotate which note gets played next. So uh, if you hit four keys in rapid succession, it will trigger up all four of these players to start playing uh, independently. So let's just... is pretty you know it seems to be uh, enough for us to be able to just click around here and not get the sensation that the, the notes are stepping Clipping, on each other right, right, right. Clipping each other off um, so what's happening is poly uh, records the um, the note number the pitch and the velocity and then packs it into a list that then you can route uh, to these different zones uh, and you can read up on poly it's pretty simple but um, it takes a little getting used to it's very similar to having a counter uh, so here we see counter does select one, two, three, four. So every time I hit a key, it's going to play in the next, the next bang is going to trigger. So it's sort of like we're doing a counter one, two, three, four, except it's not just the bang that's traveling through. It's also the number, the pitch, and the velocity of whatever key you hit. All that info, right? all that data, yeah. So, um, but these make an odd time stretches are the same thing we had before with the, with the speed uh, time stretch turned on. So and we could you know we could slow it down or speed it up more, and some of them could be different than others, which would be a little strange. But. So that is very very simple polyphony, uh, and it can be used not just with sound but with all kinds of things. Um, so you could you know have these triggering events or, or whatever you need, but there would be some polyphonic capability. Cool. Yeah. All right.